Hello everyone, it's Helen and Cosmo, and we're going to do a project um, share. We did, um, I've done a swap with Kelly Earnshaw, who is from BC, and we decided to swap pocket letters. So I'm about to mail it out, and I wanted to show you what I made for her. So let's open it up, Cosmo. Let's take everything out. I always have to make sure it's like this in the envelope before. <laughs> There's just so much stuff. Isn't there, Cosmo? Yeah, so much stuff. Oh, there's something else we forgot. Yeah, nothing else for you, Cosmo. No, nope, nothing else for you. <laughs> so let's start with the pocket letter. So, um, I did it in a fall theme. And, um, so I had paper. Let me show you it behind for a sec. Um, so when I do pocket letters, I love to do envelopes. It's just great because things don't fall off in transit. Everything stays intact. So that's why I like to do envelopes. So I had found this um, leaf pattern, um, this other leaf pattern, and then the animals. So it kind of all worked out. Um, so the leaf pattern is in common here. It's a trick, but you know, I have I have one, three of each in, on the whole pocket letter. And then on the side, I put the same leaf pattern on the sides here as well here. So um, I'm gonna show you the first row first. So I really just like toned it down and I just used uh, yellow, orange, and green. I just thought it went with the leaves. So that is it here. Now Kelly loves dragonflies. So I purposely put some dragonflies, some of the like marsh on here um, for her. And then I put leaves for the rest. So let's take a look at what I put in each of her pocket letters. So the first one here is I had some fun with some pumpkins. I really packed the envelopes. <laughs> so these are some foam, um, some foam pumpkins I had got at Michael's. I just thought they were cute. And I like the, the colored ones. I think they're really, really pretty. So that is the first envelope. I'll put this back afterwards. Um, the next envelope says Grateful Hearts, and it has the little dragonfly. Yes, Cosmo, it does. Grateful Hearts. And what I put in here were a whole bunch of um, um, foam leaves. So, again, for fall, you can use it on future projects. I just thought it was fun to have some leaves. So that is that one. Um, the next one says, love for falling leaves. And what I included in here were a bunch of the butterflies that I love to die cut. I like to use ombre paper. Um, so then sometimes you get like, um, like, like this one here, you get half of it one color and half of it another color. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's a whole bunch of different colors. This one here has half yellow and there's some orange in it. So I just think these are cool and you can put them on different projects. Like the purple one here. So that is that one. Oh, Cosmo's going to leave me. That means it's nap time. It's going to bed. <laughs> um, this one here says, be thankful. And what I put in here is I die cut a whole bunch of dragonflies for her so um here. so there's a whole bunch there's some foiled ones some cardstock ones um there's even some polka dot ones so anyway she has enough to play with uh, for future products i just thought it was kind of cool to do the dragonflies The next one here says, hello pumpkin, and uh, she had commented on one of my videos how she loved these little pumpkins I had found in a bead box. So they're orange, not orange, I'm sorry, they're pink and purple uh, pumpkins. Um, the one side is flat, the other side is puppy, so I thought she could have some fun with that. The next one here 
as colors of fall. And I found um, some leaves that are all glitter. So there's some orange, some brown, some green. Thought she could have some fun with that. The next one here says Fabulous Fall Days. And in here, I added some wooden um, leaves. So I thought you can paint them or do whatever you want with them. It's nice to have. Here I added, um, so one of my new uh, die cuts that I love is this one here. It's like, um, it's almost like a doily, but you could do it so many projects with it. And I thought it's fun. You could put it on cards, scrapbook pages. You could add, you know, gems and stuff to make it like a cuter flower. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share. This one's ombre. I just wanted to share for my staff so she can work on different projects for herself. And then last but not least, I cut out a bunch of um, um, sayings for her, like tags and different things like that. This one has butterflies, let love throw, another butterfly, and then I had a whole bunch with the leaves, so I thought that can come in handy as well. Heart sleeves flowers leaves and this one's a tag that says enjoy today so these are all the goodies that are included in the pocket letter so then let's move on to um what i'm also gifting her so i found these cute little um dragonfly wooden shapes um there's some bees in there but these two are dragonflies so i thought these would come in handy for projects for her and then i found these die cuts um they're bigger there's 10 in a pack but again, they're, they're dragonflies, so she can have some fun with that. And then I found these little cute dragonflies. So they're from different dollar stores, but they're very similar. So I thought these are always good to put on projects. And then um, I um, had gone to um, a die cutting store and I found this... Um, dragonfly with the marsh here um so i got two i got one for me and one for her so this one is the one i'm gifting her so she can have fun with that um then i made some different things for her so these are flowers that i i always make um they're like 3d she can put whatever gem she wants on there but i know her favorite color is blue so i put different shades of blue on there so she can use them on her projects i thought that was kind of fun I'm also um, gifting her some of these flowers that I made from the Paige Teller Evans Recollection uh, paper pad. So I really enjoy these papers. I love the colors, how they all go together. So I thought she could use this on projects. And then I made some bows. So these are bows that I made on, um, let me take it out here. I made them on foam, but the foam is patterned, which is very unique. So it actually brings out the... Um, it brings out um, the bows a little bit more. So let me show you. So if you can see here, the white has a pattern, the orange, the blue with their pattern, the pink with the little dots, the black, so cute, and then the red. The red almost looks like licorice. So I thought she could have fun with that. And then I was at a store and I found these and I couldn't resist, so I had to get them for her. So they're paper dragonflies. I thought they were super sweet. So I thought she could use these on a project. And then uh, something that was new that Dollar Tree had were these gorgeous, gorgeous um, dragonflies. And they're colorful. So I couldn't resist, so I definitely had to get this for her. So that is it for my project share of what I'm sending Kelly Earnshaw. She um, doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she has Instagram, which I'm going to link below. So please make sure and go and visit her. Um, so you won't be seeing this aired until I know she's received this package because I don't want to spoil the surprise. And I still have yet to unbox what she sent me. So I need to do that. 
Um, so once I know she's received it, then I will do the unboxing of what she sent me. So that is it. Um, if you like this video, please give Cosmo and myself a pause up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, Cosmo and I would be delighted to have you join our crafty family. Until the next video, guys, take care. Bye.